day everyone. Today we will present about Nestle Corporate Social Responsibility and I am Rogi and they are my group member. I'm Kershin. I'm Wan Ding. I'm Wan Ni. And I'm Bo Fu. Nestle is the largest food and beverage company in the world, headquartered in Switzerland. Nestle operates its business in 191 countries and has more than 300,000 employees. Nestle started the business in 1866 with endorsed condensed milk company by Henry Nestle. The Nestle products include breakfast cereals, bottled water, coffee and so forth. So now I'm going to discuss about the CSR activity in year 2016. So the first activity is to support one student one sports policy and the objective is to train more than 3,000 people from different schools to conduct sport workshop in order to nourish active lifestyle among children during 2016. So the second activity will be the wastewater treatment plant. So Nestle has actually invested more than 10 million on the water recycling project to upgrade the water recycling process. It actually helps to ensure all the excess water from the operation is clean and safe before it is exposed and released to the environment to reduce the environment pollution. And the third activity is the Nestle Paddy Club NPC. It's actually to provide additional income to the rice farmer in rural areas and improve environmental practice in rice farming. And actually they are uh, adopting and teaching the farmers on the new innovative method which we call semi-aerobic rice intensification which we call SARI and it is introduced to reduce the methane emission is in irrigated field and water usage. And throughout this program, rice farmer in Kedah and Kermis has successfully reduced 40% of water usage and besides, the farmer who implement SARI process has increased the average annual yield by 20%. This enables Nestle to access to reliable and control and controllable source of raw material and eventually reduce their raw material costs and increase the quality of the product. And next, I will present about the CSI activity of Nestle in year 2017. The first activity is the Milo Championship Clinic. The project is to aim to develop Malaysian next generation sporting champion with the opportunity to explore a range of sports in a fun environment under the guidance of certified sports coaches. The next activity is the Kinabatangan Relief Project. Kinabatangan is a Kinabatangan Relief Project is a initiative to reforest uh, 2,400 hectares of land along the lower Kinabatangan River. The next activity is the small and medium enterprise mentoring program. This program is to promote the potential of business opportunity towards enhancing the capability of local and small medium enterprise in the Hara food, food and beverage industry. There are several activities, CSR activities for year 2018. The first one is Nestle for Healthier Kit and for HK program. This program is a global initiative to solve the rising health issues and to nurture healthier children. The next activity is minimizing the solid waste. Nestle reduce the waste generation and increase waste recovery. And this activity uh, target is to maintain zero landfill waste from the factory. The last activity is Nestle Chili Club. NCC. The NCC support the use of locally sourced raw material. They help the local farmer under the NCC sub under the NCC supply fresh chili for Nestle. Next, I will present about the reason for Nestle to carry out the environmental responsibility. As we know that Nestle is a large food producer in the world. To ensure the usage of uh, natural resources in wise manner, Nestle need to preserve the environment 
from uh, pollution that causing the natural resources becoming more and more constrained and at that will eventually put more stress on sourcing raw material for Nestle. Besides that, CSR, CSR activity can also improve Nestle competitiveness, leading Nestle to obtain a competitive advantages. The competitive advantages can be achieved by reducing costs through reducing waste and energy or water consumption and by re increasing the benefits such as enhancing the customer satisfaction, corporate image and brand loyalty. The reason for people responsibility, Nestle aims to provide the cons customer with tasty food and beverage products that they can trust. Customer loyalty and trust help Nestle gain the competitive advantages in the market. Consumer aware of safety and quality standard and have more expectation on companies' manufacturing processes. And Nestle fully concerned on the product safety and quality, product marketing and advertising, and nutritious product for customer. Uh, the mission of Nestle is to offer customer product services and knowledge to improve quality of life and contribute to a healthier future. So the other reason for Nestle to adopt CSR activity is economical responsibility. CSR activity uh, practice actually help to create economic and social societal value by realigning their corporate objective with stakeholder management and environmental responsibility. So, for example, Nestle has developed an innovative product, Sari, to increase the yield of farmer which will eventually increase the income of the farmer as well as provide reliable and cons consistent source of raw material which actually help them to reduce their material, raw material cost, enhance their productivity as well as provide a stable selling price to the consumer. So it is actually a win-win situation for both society and Nestle. So uh, economic responsibility is an interrelated area that focuses on striking a balance between business, environmental and philanthropic practice. So in another word, economic responsibility will enhance the business operation of Nestle while engaging in society and in sustainable practice. Okay, so the utilitarian theory is defined as an action is morally right if it is giving happiness to majority people in the society and maximize the welfare to society. So Nestle applied this theory due to its related to the strategy for competitive advantage. According to Leeds, state that utilitarian theory is as a base for formulating strategies in the dynamic usage of natural resources of the corporation for competitive advantage. In order to maximize the welfare to society for protect the environment, Nestle avoid direct usage of water in their operations. For example, they are also looking at ways to reduce water consumption throughout the supply, supply chain. Okay, next. I will present about the milestone for one of the major projects under Nestle CSR activity. The project is Kina Batangan Relief Project. So, the Kina Batangan Relief Project was launched in 2011. The initial phase was to expected to see the planting of 100,000 trees within the next one year to commemorate with the 100 years present of Nestle in Malaysia. This project in 2014, is supported by Yayasan Sandabi and Sabah Forestry Department by giving the co-funding and the technical assistance. In 2017, the tree planting project has successfully existed in initial target and replant uh, 700,000 trees over 2,500 hectares of critical forest. In 2018, with the huge success of Kinabatangan Relief Project, Nestle decided to extend its partnership with Yayasan Sandabi and Sabah Forest Tree Department to committed increase in the target and aim to plant 1 million tree by 2030. So these are the positive impact from the Kinabatangan Relief Project. 
one of the positive impact is the is the Kinabatanga River form a natural buffer zone which will filter the two main pollutants in the river, which is soil, sediment, and agricultural chemical runoff flowing into the river. The next positive impact is the restore zone from form a wildlife corridor which allows native wildlife such as orang utan to thrive and forage in the natural habitat while reducing with the conflict between humans and wildlife. Lastly, the Kinabatangan project also empower local community through a program called Community Anak Koko Kinabatangan Kapo program. Through this Kapo program, the uh, the local community will plant the tree seedling and the tree seedling will be purchased by Nestle under the Kapo program for the reforestation purpose. So since Nestle involved in so much CSR activity and some are very big investment, so it is very important for them to allocate their resource strategically. So now we're going to discuss about how Nestle is actually allocating their resources. The business resources such as financial resource and capital are invested in is uh, invested in CSR to produce both financial and non-financial value. And since the resource is always limited, it is important for Nestle to allocate their resource strategically instead of in invest for the sake of investing. So, um, while management of resource allocation actually enable Nestle to potentially be more flexible and able to develop strategies suitable for pursuing opportunity for congruence with its current and prospective environment and capacities. For example, for the case of Kina Bitangan Relief Project, Nestle has reduced the cost on buying the seed from Kapok and utilized this financial resource to maintain the trees they have planned previously. And this has actually reduced the cost, but also they increased the number of RSPO certification. So, um, Nestle will actually allocate more resource in CSR activity if they if they receive the positive impact, but they will also reduce the resource when they receive a negative influence on the CSR activity. Because uh, researchers have found that over investing in CSR activity actually increase the company cost and trigger the conflict of interest among the stakeholders. So therefore, it is very important for Nestle to allocate their resource strategically to maximize the benefit of Stakeholder. So, for example, Nestle has reduced the number of employees from uh, 5,502 in year 2016 to 5,267 in year 2018, which enabled them to reduce the total spending on the training and development annually from 11 million of to 3 million plus, yet still maintain the employee performance. So this actually indicates that Nestle are use, utilizing their resources and to invest in more profitable projects. Okay, for the BEST analysis, the first one is political analysis. Busan Malaysia provide a voluntary guidance on CSR reporting to, to its member in 206. 2006 and later make CSR reporting mandatory for all public listed companies, including Nestle, which effective from 31 December 2007. The political challenge to Nestle in implement CSR activity is the pressure from the government that require Nestle to improve their disclosure and, tra and transparency of their CSR report. The aversions to government involving in CSR regulations in business is understandable. However, the benefit of engagement from the public sphere should also be considered. So the next one will be economic economical analysis. When the economic decline, it will affect the spending power of consumer. As every as everyone knows, Nestle is a consumer based product. So when the consumer spending power is low, that will affect the business of Nestle. Recession commonly defined as two or more consecutive quarter of negative GDP growth can affect consumer expenditure in several ways. It will reduce disposal income through unemployment, 
pay cut, low, lower investment return will lead to a smaller budget for consumption. People tend to save more or pay down debts during a recession, which again lead to less money spent on goods and services. When there is a recession on economy, it will affect the business of Nestle. Therefore, improvements CSR may bring cost burden to Nestle. So Nestle will cut down the activity or reduce the activity of CSR. So for the social analysis, the challenge faced when Nestle implements CSR activity is cultural diversity. The challenge arises when people with different beliefs and different values in different cultures must work together in Nestle. Their different way of thinking and style of communications may cause misunderstanding in the implementations of CSR process. CSR will affect several aspects of consumer adjustment and fueling towards social responsible company because some customer might be support this CSR activity but some customer might be uh, not really want to involve in this CSR activity. So for the technological analysis, technology has helped the to make the CSR report of, Next, of Nestle effectively and increase the accuracy of the information. The advanced technology helps CSR to correct the real-time data and automate the data, the data collection process. Nestle already is seeing a trend towards online reporting, more regular reporting and even sustainability dashboard with real-time data. This will help to increase the confidence of stakeholders to Nestle with the latest CSR report. The scientific Works focus on the technological innovations, innovations of Nestle food and ingredients at the molecular level to improve the food nutrient delivered to consumer. I'll be presenting the SWOT analysis, and this is an overview for the SWOT analysis where I will be presenting in detail later. So for strength, um, the first the first thing is they have successfully created a shared value in across all their value chain. So there are three things that they are focused on. First is nurturing healthier, um, happier individual and families. Second is developing and empowering communities. Third is helping environmental issue. So um, for these three, three creating value initiative, um, they basically the concept of the shared value is uh, to benefit both society and environment. And for Nestle, believe that in order for them to earn a long-term uh, profit, they have to look into creating value in society. And for the for the for Nestle, they have actually earned several awards that um, several awards, and they are in in two thousand eighteen. First is they have gained the best environmental responsibility awards, global good governance awards. And also, according to Forbes 2017 Global 2000, they are the world's largest F&B company and also their market value worth 229.5 billion. Next is the weaknesses. Um, the weaknesses is the amount of resources Nestle spend on their CSR initiative. So, we understand that when we are doing any activities, there is a necessary cost like operating cost and also the manpower um, supply will be incurred. So above are the two CSR activities done by Nestle which may incur the high expenses. First is the um, so this this one is the so safe water safe community project which involved the installation of filtration system for over six hundred fifty people in Pahang. And next is the Kinabatang relief project that leads to plant one million tree by two two in Sabah. And another weaknesses is the critic, um, the social criticism from all over the world pertaining to Nestle. Like um, one of it is Nestle was accused by uh, accused for using child and slave labor for their chocolate making factories. And another report also saying that Nestle making noodle contain um, excess amount of lead. Another opportunity that Nestle have is the they are, they can establish the collaboration and partnership with social enterprise. So according to the news star, they they, they are saying that the social enterprise is the growing growing trend in Malaysia and also in all over the world. 
and in UK there are actually 100,000 of social enterprise which have contributed to 60 billion of UK economy and they have employed 2 million people uh, because of this social enterprise. So the recommendation we, we would suggest is um, Nestle could work with this Malaysia Global Innovation and Creativity Centre because they are the agency that focus on driving the sustainable entrepreneurship ecosystem development through innovation and creativity for long-term nation impact. And uh, another thing is, another opportunity is, um, we can let's look into this graph. The child obesity is actually the second highest in Asia. So, um, because due to the growing concern of the health problem, Nestle can also look into investing more health nutrition product which can serve as one of the opportunity for Nestle. And lastly for the threat, um, these are one of the threat is they have the high they have, they have many competitors which you we can see from this. They, these are all the top competitors for Nestle. And also another threat is the political instability which will affect their effectiveness in doing their CSI initiative. So um, before I end, the one thing that our group will suggest is if Nestle could invest in more digital marketing strategies which will help them to create more awareness for the public um, of course uh, on their campaigns they have organized and also keep the consumer updated on their uh, from time to time thank you